Hi everyone, welcome to today's Thrive webinar. We're here with Jennifer Connolly. Did I pronounce that right? I did. Okay, um, who's joining us. Jennifer has a wonderful program that really supports not just work-life balance, but work-life integration. It goes a step further in helping us to live balanced, fulfilling lives, and especially tailored towards the needs of women. So without further ado, welcome, Jennifer. Thank you so much. It's great to be here with you all. Yeah. And could you share a little more about what this program is? Could we dive a little more closely into the, the substance of it, if you will? Absolutely. It's about 10 years old now. And about six years ago, we discovered that this idea of living an integrated life could benefit from some immersion into integration and really getting out of the office environment where we were hosting these originally and into a retreat setting. Um, and so that's where the retreat concept began. It was a workshop format. And then over the years, it evolved to a retreat. And then a few years ago, uh, one of our facilitators found Art of Living. And it was as if something out of the heavens came down and it was the perfect place. <laughs> um, and I consider it home. I can't wait each year when we have the retreat there. And the idea of immersion into integration is to really discover for you, and I love that this is called Thrive, um, what helps you to live a life where you thrive. And so one of the ways that we've discovered for everyone, not just women, is to make sure that you take time throughout your year to retreat. And whatever that retreat form takes or, uh, or shapes for you, but this time where you truly get away from it all to be with you. Um, and in this experience for us over the weekend, we get to be with some other really neat people too. But the idea and how the curriculum is designed is that you really do get to dive deep into what living an integrated life means for you. And this is very interesting. You first <laughs> offered this in offices, you said. I did. And yeah. what was the goal of that? The goal of it was to bring different science of integration, the art of integration, different thought leaders from the medical field to the coaching world, to the corporate world, to the nonprofit world, to discuss, to share, to learn together um, what maybe was that missing element in their experiment with work-life balance or in their experiment with work-life integration. So the the inspiration was beautiful and wonderful, uh, but the environment had some opportunity, I say. <laughs> so that's how we changed it up. So I mean, that, that's beautiful. It really speaks to the kind of core essence of this program, that it's not a program outside of your day-to-day -day life. It's addressing those issues, those problems, those opportunities, if you will, where we can bring in more balance in the office, in what we're doing every day. Yes, absolutely. One of the things that uh, our retreat participants work on together throughout the weekend is something called the Work-Life Integration Planning Guide. And so all the curriculum around the weekend, both time spent by yourself, maybe discovering the grounds or taking a trip to the Ayurvedic spa or doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, all help kind of funnel into what you want to take away into your daily life. These insights that you get to uncover during the weekend of learning and being in community um, and having time for reflection and self-care, then the real magic is how do you incorporate this in a way that feels good for you into Monday morning, into Wednesday midday, um, into a tough situation that you may find yourself in. That's the magic when it goes from the mountaintop into um, the seat of your chair or into the laptop. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now to talk to the laptop. I like that very much. We're onto something. Maybe that could be a t-shirt or a coffee mug. <laughs> right. They could have a, a mountain on one side and like the laptop on the other. Yes. Um, Jennifer also has a very creative background. She, um, you were in charge of the marketing education? Yes, the, I was. Okay. Years ago, I was, um, in marketing, public affairs, public relations. And from that, in Chicago, I went on to be the executive director of the American Marketing Association there. So. Very familiar with the office culture. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. 
Yes, I am. And that's the idea, this idea of living an integrated life. Oh boy, it can happen in a breath. It doesn't have to take a weekend of immersing yourself into something else to then be there. The idea is how do we equip ourselves to find that flow state of integration in a breath, in a moment, um, because it's there waiting for us. It's just a matter of where's our mindset to get us into that place. And so it's almost like you get to go to the integration gym, <laughs> but it's very pleasant um, during our retreat experience. And we do work on leadership. We do work on relationship effectiveness. We do work, I have a couple guest speakers that are coming in to talk about managing expectations and how when we get some insight around the expectations that we hold most dear, how that paves the way to integration, how that also allows us to be fully present to the weekend. Another one uh, coming in to speak about kind of completing on some things that may be gripping us from our past. How do we come to a place of completion so that we can open ourselves up to what we see, want to see for ourselves and our more healthy, so to speak, future. And what are some of the experiences that women have come back and shared with you as a result of this experience on the mountain? Mm. One of my favorite stories is of a woman who's a business owner with her husband and um, the space that they're in is around product and product marketing and um, technical side of life. And she came to the retreat and she decided to sign up uh, for to spend some time on the potter's wheel. And I took some fabulous photos of her and she just was so present and so kind of in the moment with her creation. And the aliveness that I saw in her as she talked about her experience and the women and men that were there in the clay studio with her and the shared community there, she ended up going back home, signing up for a pottery class, now has a line of pottery, an Instagram featuring her pottery, and her pottery is going to be the gifts that we give to our retreat participants this year. That is super exciting. What oh my gosh, I can hardly take it. Um, and so on Saturday night, for those retreat participants that are interested, we'll have a little bit of open mic time. Nice. And so there's one woman coming who wrote this incredible poem about work-life integration. I don't know that it was about that, but that's what I could feel when I heard her share it. And um, another woman that I'm working on getting to sing because she's incredible. Uh, she hasn't said yes yet. And then in this woman's case with the pottery, I'd love for her to share her story. Um, is anything on hand that you could like show to the camera or do people have to come to see it? I wish I had it on hand. I only have a picture of it, but um, it's beautiful. It Kay sounds Clay. really special. Yeah, Kay Clay um, is her Instagram handle. So yeah, I'm going to look that up. Yeah, it's either Kay Clay or Kay Clay one. I'll, I will definitely find that out. Okay. And um, what does integration mean to you? What does um, this seem to be better integrated? Oh, oh, oh. Um, I could talk about this forever. <laughs> and so I'll figure out what's a little less than forever. And um, the shortest way I could describe it is it's a feeling. Um, Dr. Daniel Siegel's work in integration has profoundly impacted me because I love getting at the science of integration, not just the art form or maybe the um, subtle aspect of integration, but also this idea of that our brains crave it. From a cellular level, our, our brains crave being in what's known as the flow state, um, where we're not rigid, we're not chaotic, but we're in the flow state of being with what's so, of being what is. And so integration to me is like living in that flow state, letting all things come, letting all things go, just like the river. That sounds beautiful. Hmm. It sounds like people are able to have an experience of that in the retreat, that they're then able to apply that same mindset back home, back at the office. Absolutely, because I think some of the key elements of the retreat, so it blends yoga philosophy. We actually have um, yoga practice during the retreat that's suitable for all ages and all levels. Uh, we have, we do mindfulness work. We do a practice known as forest bathing, which is a Japanese tradition of being in nature fully and in that space of presence. Um, so we get to experience the health benefits of how nature can actually create more of that flow state of integration just by being amidst it. 
Um, we do work on a deeper insight into our own personalities and what drives us. So each participant gets to go through something called the Berkman Method, which is an assessment that I use in working with teams and working with individuals and working with couples and all of that. So they get that as part of the retreat experience. And then coaching. Coaching is both done in an individual setting where each person that comes gets to sign up in coaching with me. And then also I have two of my guest speakers on hand uh, to be available for coaching as well. And there's also going to be some experience of inside the community, inside our all session time where, where you get some of the insights of coaching on a, on a group level. Mm -hmm. We talk about Ayurveda, which is the sister science of yoga, which is one of the big draws of having this retreat at Art of Living. I used to talk about the beauty, the power, the wonder of Ayurveda, and then say, find a facility, find a massage place, find a, find a, find a, and to be able to say, go down the road today to the Ayurvedic spa and experience a Shiradhara treatment, experience an Avyanga massage, meet with an Ayurvedic consultant to learn more about your dosha, have a meal that is intended to um, get at all the tastes that we experience in the season that we're in. Mm -hmm. To be able to say it's there where I am versus this thing I suggest you look for to try to do yeah. um, is so cool. So we talk about the idea and the insights around how Ayurveda and an understanding of that view of living uh, this earth on this earth can also help with integration. So we really do look at integration from a holistic point of view during our time together. You, uh, you inspired me to remember that uh the forest bathing will take place during the beauty of autumn up here. Yes. It is a gorgeous time. It's a gorgeous time to be in the woods. Mm -hmm. um, it's around the tea time that the leaves are really turning and people actually drive up here to the community from all over the region just to see the leaves turn. So it's yes. nice to do that in a place along with the rest of the retreats you know, area and environment and atmosphere. And that's one of the things that I'm super passionate about and of course learning the hard way. I used to pack the retreat design, boom, 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 this, then this, then this, then this. And I was so excited about the next thing and whatever we we're going to do. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I didn't give people any time. <laughs> um, and so that's one of the things that we do very intentionally um, before we get really started on Friday. We have some space to do forest bathing, to do a yoga practice. To visit the spa and clay studio and then we also create a really nice block of time on saturday and we encourage our participants to stay a little later on sunday and get to experience more of the property before they leave nice. it's magic well, a little about your backstory what really got you interested or involved in this work this idea of integration well one of the things i stumbled upon saying back when was I found it because I lost it. <laughs> um, my passion around this topic came from a place of feeling like I didn't know how to be it. I didn't get it. And what I got was feeling a sense of being depleted, a sense of being overwhelmed, exhausted, never enough. And I didn't want to live the rest of my life that way. And so I just started kind of like a hungry student um, looking at different things and meeting with different support people in my life and mentors in my life to say, I need to get this a different way um, because not only did I see it in myself, I saw it in other people. And um, I wanted to be a healthy human being, not only for myself, but for my family. And, um, and so looking at experiences of loss in my family and the preciousness of life and then looking at my own children um, I began this journey of work-life integration and then practicing it, not just knowing about it theoretically, <laughs> but actually putting it into practice. And pra I still practice every day. I fall down, that's for sure. I do take myself too seriously. I do take things too seriously or get super involved and overwhelmed. And then I practice and I experience why I do this work because then I feel the relief, I feel the freedom I feel that flow state return. Speaking of practice, is there an exercise or an experience that you would like to guide us through? 
I would love to do that. This one is all part of the work-life planning guide that we do together. And I feel like it helps just to kind of settle in to that beautiful, gifted imagination that we have that doesn't always get our tender, loving care. It might get our loving care in the sense of worry, uh, but I'd love for us to take a little moment to practice activating the imagination in a really powerful way. So just getting comfortable where you are, allowing yourself to settle, allowing the jaw to relax and the face to soften. And if it's comfortable for you here now to close your eyes softly, softly close your eyes. Just allow your awareness to go to the breath at the tip of the nose. As you notice the cool air as it goes in and the warm air as it goes out. With each in-breath, you are being infused with life-giving energy. And with each out-breath, you're letting go of what the body, the mind no longer needs. And then bringing to mind the scene in nature, one that gives you great joy. It may be a place you've been or a place you dream of going. With your mind's eye, see that scene in nature before you now. Now take it a step further and imagine yourself there now such that with your mind's eye, you look down at the ground and see your feet on the ground. And with your mind's eye, you look up and look around and take in your surroundings fully. Taking a moment, moment to notice what you see right nearby. The colors. And then looking way off in the distance and allowing a smile to come across your face. And take a moment to activate your sense of touch and notice the textures of this place, even the feel of the air around you on your skin. Notice if Things are soft to the touch or firm, bumpy or smooth. Feeling even your clothes on your skin. Activating your sense of hearing now and tune in. What are the sounds you associate with this place? perhaps even the sound of your own breathing. Tuning in now to your sense of smell and with your mind's eye, noticing the smells of this place. What smells do you associate with this place? And tuning into your sense of taste, notice even the taste in your mouth. What tastes do you associate with this place? And now with all the senses fully engaged, take another look around this place. And allow a feeling of wonder a feeling of awe to come over. Saying to yourself, I am joyful. I am at ease. All is well. All is well. 
And taking that feeling of joy and ease with you into this day, as you let the image of this place gently fade into the background of your mind, know that you can access it at any point. And when you're ready, softly, softly, take in the room you're in now again, looking around, moving your hands and feet, your shoulders, and that's the practice. How was that for you? It was nice. It was a, I feel refreshed. Wonderful. Also, feel free to leave a, uh, a note in the comments how the practice was for you, if you'd like to comment or share. Um, yeah, thank you, Jennifer. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Also in the comments section, um, everyone watching, you'll find a link to Jennifer's program. I encourage you to check it out. Um, it's a great time to be back in Boone amidst the fall splendor. It's a beautiful place all the time, but uh, especially that time of year. And um, Jennifer has such a lovely smile. It's put together such a beautiful program for us all. So check it out. Thank you so much. I look forward to being with you. Yeah, and thank you again, Jennifer, for joining us for this episode of Thrive. And see you all on the next episode.